in such a way like X so that they are conformable? No, you get an error. How about if I look at the transpose of Y? It is now conformable. Now it's two by now it's two by one times a two by two. Yes, it works. So you see the difference there. Here is it's treated as a matrix times a matrix. So you've got to set up in such a way that they're conformable. But if it's like a vector times a matrix, then that operator will just interpret it in such a way that you can multiply it if it's possible. Okay, next we'll look at the element wise multiplication, otherwise known as the Hadamard product. And I confess I have no ex really little experience of this type of multiplication in my work. So how this works is that when we're multiplying these two things together, I think there's a symbol for it. Maybe it's that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, I'll just say it's the element wise multiplication. What happens is each thing in the same position is multiplied together. So here is 1 times 0, 0, 3. This is uh, first row, second column, multiplied by the first row, second column of the other ma matrix. So 3 times 3 is 9. Likewise, 2 times 2 is 4, 0 times 1, 0, like that. And if we have a constant times this matrix, then that constant is multiplied to each of the numbers. So here would be number A times 3A, 2A, 0 times A, 0. How about 2? vectors, say 1, 1 times something like 5, 1. So again, what you do, multiply things in the same position. First row, first column, times first row, times first column. Second row, times first column, times second row, times first column, 1. Okay, that's 1. That's by a scalar times a matrix. That's a matrix times a matrix. So let's look at it in R. So here we've got A and B. And let's say we you want to multiply by a constant, say constant 10 times A, and we we'll use the element wise. Element wise operated denoted by the the what we recognize the this product term. There you go. So each term has been multiplied in that cell number here has been multiplied by 10. And if we do multiplication element-wise multiplication, there you go, which is what we've got over here. Okay, next I create another uh, vector w. Let's do element-wise product w times x, 5, 1, 5 times 1, 1 times 1. Okay, and if we use the symbol instead to multiply the two vectors, well, you find that this gives us the inner product 5 times 1 plus 1 times 1. Now, finally, to finish, there's one case here that I forgot to mention. In R, what happens if you multiply a vector by a matrix? What happens here is that this first the top row, first row of the vectors multiply through by each of these, all these in the same row. So what you get is 1 times 1. And you also have 1 times 2. Similarly, bottom, 1 times 2, 1 times 0. So that's what we're going to end up with. Let's just confirm that we do get that. So we've got x and we've got a times a, 1, 3, 2, 0. One, oops, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 0. Uh, oh, yes, that's because uh, 1, 3, 2, 0 because I've fallen asleep here that that's a that's one three two zero so that's one three two zero so it does work right now I can sleep soundly okay all for now